Well, let me start by saying that I've got absolutely no problem with a really good grilled burger. In fact, here's a picture of one that I did last summer. I love going out on the barbecue doing a burger. But you know, part of the thing with the kitchen is that it's fun to experiment, to try new things, just to see if you can come up with something unique that the kids might like, maybe you'll like it. So we're gonna do three different hamburgers here. Now, one thing they've all got in common, a little bit of salt wakes up the flavor. I use kosher salt most of the time, it's a little heavier grain and a little coarse ground pepper. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So let's come up with some different plans. This one, I got something special lined up for. All we're gonna do to it is a little bit of Worcestershire, lean parin sauce, and a little bit of Montreal steak. This is amazing stuff. Any kind of red meat, wonderful stuff. Come on, I know you're in there. There we go, that's plenty. This one, we're gonna go a little bit Italian. And my plan for this, we're gonna put about a tablespoon of spaghetti sauce into it. And when we get down to the end, we're going to have some uh, fresh tomatoes and mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella. This stuff. I just got this from uh, just got this from Imperfect Foods. It's looking terrific. We're going to do something with that. Third one. I'm thinking Southwest. Now Southwest. Got to have a little onion and pepper. Here's some uh, chopped onion and Anaheim pepper. You can use jalapenos, jalapenos, but they're a little hot for my taste, so I like to go with these. Needs a little barbecue. Now barbecue, a little bit goes a long way, so I'm thinking probably a teaspoon is gonna be plenty on this. Come on, I know you're in there. There we go. Proud teaspoon ought to do it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe some bacon. I cooked up some bacon a little earlier, little chunks, put that in there, a little bit more. And I'm thinking just a tiny squeeze of lime. That's probably plenty right there. Okay, did I miss anything? Looking around the table, I think we're in good shape. We'll put the hands to work. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm cross-contaminating a little bit here. I think I maybe got a little more than I need on the Southwest Burger. Squish them together, get that stuff all mixed in there. Yep. Yep, some of the players are trying to escape, so I think we've got a little more in there than we need. But that's okay, that's okay. You squish it down a little bit in the center because they will tend to swell up in the middle. By the way, these are, um, I bought a pound about a pound of ground beef, 80%. I love 80%. I, I know it's kind of fatty, but it tastes great. It shrinks up a little bit. You lose a little bit in the uh, translation. But it's the lowest priced 
Um, they have a little sale at Safeway. I got a pound of 80% ground beef for $3.49. Now, um, we got some other goodies to go in a little bit later, uh, but right now we're about ready to hit the grill. I'm going to go wash my hands. We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, here we are. We've got all three. Let's see what we've got. You know, I know the Southwest version is going to be good. You really can't put in barbecue sauce and peppers and have anything but a perfect outcome. Now, the cheese on top um, is called Southwest Sunset. Um, I'll put a link down below. There's a lot going on in there. This is the one I'm not sure about. We got mozzarella, we got some uh, bar or, uh, not barbecue, we got some spaghetti sauce from the, uh, you know, from the grocery store. That turned out pretty well. Mm. Excuse me for a moment. While I cleanse my palate. Oop. Sorry about the slurp. Now this one, we went minimum seasoning on the meat. Salt, pepper, a little bit of Montreal steak, a quick couple flashes of uh, Worcestershire, and then we put the mushrooms on top. And I did these in a video a little earlier today. So this is a mushroom sauce from a recipe from Martha Washington's original cookbook, early 1700s saw this on Townsend's. I'll put a link below. Townsend's is a great site. John Townsend lives in the 1700s. He cooks with ingredients, tools, and methods that were available there and uses recipes out of that period of time. Let's see what we got. That's really, really good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and eat. Hey, kids, thanks for watching. Really appreciate, mm, excuse me. <laughs> you know, I feel a little bad. I'm here, you're there, wherever there is. I would love to share this with you. It, it's just, 
And let me give you a little uh, extra background. I did in the oven. I, I know you probably don't have a cast iron grill with grates on it like that. I put the the cast iron uh, I put the cast iron skillet in the oven, 425 degrees for a half an hour. So it was blazing hot. When these things hit the oven, they started to cook immediately. I did three minutes per side. And that's really all it took to get us to, uh, you know, we're at pretty close to medium. It's a little bit pink in there, but not bad. It's just about perfect. Meat is still really tender. Lots of flavor coming out of these. I wish I could share it with you. Come on over. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and eat for a while. Thank you so much for taking the time to visit. The best thing you can do to help us grow the channel, like, subscribe, share. The thing about sharing is that you have a different set of people than I do. If you share it, you might find one or two in there who like it, and they share it, and they share it, and they share it. It's kind of like the virus, except in a good way. We really want this to be a success, and we need you to help us do that. So please, like, subscribe, share. Thanks so much for being part of our community. Well, maybe you learned something. Hopefully you had fun, and at least you lived through it. Things could have been worse. Bob and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch our little videos. We've got lots of ideas about things that will come up. We're going to have all kinds of new videos in the future. And we'd love to have you as a subscriber. You know, the like button down here somewhere and the subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of our family. Thanks so much for sticking with us. Freaking good. Mm. God, that's good. Oh, man.